Hello, my name is Max Greenfield, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you today my very first book for young readers, entitled, I Don't Want to Read This Book. I've written this book about not wanting to read a book in the hopes that the kids who don't like to read books will want to read this one. Uh, now, I don't want to read this book, but for Barnes & Noble, the most magical place on earth, I've decided to make an exception. So without further ado, I don't want to read this book. Written by Max Greenfield, that's me, and illustrated by the great Mike Lowry. The book for kids who don't like to read books. I don't want to read this book. Written by Max Greenfield, that's me, and illustrated by the great Mike Lowry. But you already know this. I don't want to read this book. I, I know it happens to be the title of this book, but let me make myself very clear. I really don't want to read it. I mean, why would I read this book? I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to open up the front cover only to find pages with, let me guess, words. Sometimes a lot of words. This is not one of those pages. But this one is. Look at that. Words, 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 words. Look, most words are fine, like cake and YouTube, but some words are just plain ridiculous. I mean, take the word doubt for an example. What is a B doing in there? If no one could hear the B, why do we have to see it? I doubt whoever put it there was very smart at all. Other words are just too big, like infinitesimal. If you can believe it, this word means small. Words like infinitesimal are the exact reason I don't want to read this book. And as if words weren't bad enough, I'm sure this book also has its fair share of sentences, which are just too many words all smooshed together with a period at the end. Sentences are the worst. I don't ever want to read a book that has a sentence in it. Period. Which brings me to paragraphs. I do not, under any circumstance, want to read a book with a single paragraph in it. Did you know that a paragraph can be more than a half a page long? I have seen some that take up an entire page. I mean, what are these paragraphs trying to prove? Just looking at a paragraph exhausts me. I mean, just, all of those words. I would love to meet the person who is able to read a full paragraph and not lose their train of thought. As if anyone on earth wouldn't lose interest after a sentence or two and start thinking about other things like how Ozzy threw his snack at Tilly right in the middle of class today and how no one could believe it and how Tilly was like, what's wrong with you, Ozzy? And how Ozzy was like, what, what is wrong? What is wrong? Wait a minute. Where was I again? Oh yeah, paragraphs. I don't want to read any book that has a paragraph in it. Paragraphs belong in chapter books, and chapter books are with, for, for people with nothing better to do. <sighs> chapter two, I still don't want to read this book. All the things that I could be doing that are more important than reading this book. One, eating cake. Two, eating cake while watching YouTube. Three, watching YouTube and not eating cake. But truth be told, I'd rather be eating cake. <sighs> my brain hurts and my eyes feel tired. Reading this book has been a truly miserable experience for me. <sighs> I can't believe that I'm almost done with this book. I did not want to read it. After I'm done, I'm going to need some space. Ugh. I really don't want to read the last page. I already know what it's going to say. It, it, it's how all books end, as if anything could be any more predictable. <sighs> Let's just get it over with, I guess. Yeah, there you go. The end. Can't believe I just read this book. The chances of it ever happening again are infinitesimal. 